All right, so many of you will probably remember this from biology class. So because it's a review, I'm going to go through it a little quickly. The goal of science is to understand and explain how the natural world works and how it became the way it is using natural explanations. Now, when we say natural, what we mean is that it's made of matter. So elements, compounds, things like that. Everything that is natural is observable, or sometimes you might hear the word empirical. When you talk about things being natural or evidence being natural, it means that the only evidence that we can use in science are those that we can detect with our senses. So like taste, touch, hearing, smell, and so on. The opposite of natural would be like things that are supernatural or things that are magical. So we can't use explanations like ghosts or angels or God um, to explain why things happen because those things are not observable or measurable or natural. Those things exist outside of the natural world, and so we call them supernatural. Things that science is. Okay, Science is limited to the natural world, like we just described, limited to things that are observable. Science is a search for understanding, so we're trying to see how the world works, why it works the way it is, how it got to be that way. Everything in science has to be testable. Sometimes we say that it's disprovable, like we can make a claim that is disprovable, um, that it, science is based on experimentation. So when you do experiments, you are doing tests in order to disprove things. Um, everything in science is measurable and objective. Everything in science is repeatable or verifiable. So some people can repeat the experiment or repeat your observations and verify your claims. Science is modifiable and open to change. As we get new information, as we get new evidence, we have to modify what we once believed before. Contrary to what you might think, science is biased. We try not to be biased, but because we are humans, we are naturally subjective. And so we have certain methods or processes that we do with science in order to reduce our bias and to reduce our subjectivity, which is why everything in science has to be measurable and objective, because we want to reduce those personal opinions that we have and how we interpret information. And science is made stronger by different lines of evidence. So as you're learning something, if you say have evidence that is in um, anatomy and then you have an, the same evidence coming from genetics and you have similar evidence coming from um, embryology and you have similar evidence coming from geology and it's all kind of pointing to the same explanation, then that makes a theory or explanation stronger. All right, things science is not. It is not able to solve all problems. All right, we wish it could, but again, we can't st solve problems that deal with supernatural things like ghosts or angels or God. We can't solve problems that deal with opinion or morals or values. Science is not certain or absolute. Okay, on the previous slide we said that science is subject to change and that it's modifiable. So nothing in science is ever certain. As we learn new material or new evidence, then we have to change what we currently believe and modify it. So we're never 100% certain and, and nothing is ever absolute. It is not a search for truth. But again, we can never be 100% certain that what we understand is fact. All right, We're just trying to narrow that region for where truth resides. It's not based on proof. Okay, Proof is kind of a dirty word in science because it implies certainty or implies absolute fact. All right? and nothing in science is ever certain, so we don't use the word proof. We would rather use that word disprove. Science is not based on belief or faith. Um, because, again, those things are very subjective and can't be measured or tested. Science is not based on authority. All right, If you have somebody that knows a lot about the material or that is considered an expert in the field, you might take their knowledge or their opinion a little bit more strongly than somebody else, but they cannot call the shots on their own. You know, They don't have the authority to tell you what is science or what is scientific. And it's not decided by debate or democratic voting. So you don't have a bunch of scientists getting together and, and debating about who's got the better evidence or whose theory is stronger. Um, you don't get a bunch of you know politicians getting together and voting about what can be considered scientific and what cannot be considered scientific. And it's not a collection of facts. I know a lot of the times in science we collect facts and we use those facts and that data in order to explain things or understand things, but it's not just about collecting facts. Okay, We use those facts in the process of science. So what is science? Okay, The nature of science. A lot of the times you'll see me abbreviate it NOS or NOS. 
So again, it's not just a body of facts, but rather it's a way of knowing, okay? It's a way of looking at the world, the natural world, and understanding how it works, how it got to be that way, why things happen, all right? And then through this process of doing science, and there is a way that we do science, then we construct our knowledge of the natural world. And again, although this knowledge is based on evidence, right, it's construction, it's how we build that evidence, how we construct that knowledge, is ultimately based on the human perspective. All right, so we are biased, we are subjective, um, and so that really limits what we know to be fact or true in science. And it's ultimately fallible, right, meaning that it's subject to error, 